hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we landed on Corlys looking for Okia. Now, I went back and had a check, so apparently Okia is familiar with collector technology. That's why we're looking for this guy, why we want him to join our team. Now then, uh, if I sound a little panicky in this recording... Oh, hello. Hello there, you are right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell a story here. I'm trying to establish a narrative, could you not? You know what, let me... There we go. Krogan, closing in. Oh, Krogan. Now, we might have been hit, but we took him out, and that's what matters. Hello? You know what, we'll, we'll go that way. Time to die. Oh, hello. Hello. I heard that. Oh, no, no, that. They're up there, apparently. Hi. Ah. They're all coming round. Now you go. Uh, Jacob, don't... Jacob, what are you doing? Do you have a death wish? to do was explore that that is a med kit okay thank you thank you i will be taking that um now as i was saying if i sound a wee bit panicked that is because when i when i opened up the ea app to prepare for this recording session imagine my surprise when the ea app told me i don't own half the games that i do own Namely, Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age Inquisition. I still had Dragon Age 2. Still had that one, but Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh, no, I never purchased those. I hallucinated purchasing them. I clearly never owned them. All the DLCs and, like, extra gubbins. Oh, yeah, yeah, I own them, but not the main games. And the, uh, the help page for the EA app is about as useless as the EA app. I do not like the EA app. I think it is shit. Um, Krogan took down the grid. We're blind and getting hit on all sides. Where are the heavies? Yo, I have no idea. I have no idea where the heavies are at. But yet, yeah, all of the advice 
for like what like what does this mean oh games have disappeared from your ea app clearly it means that you logged into the wrong ea account i only have one i only have one ea account i don't have multiple but oh no no clearly you have multiple you don't realize it but you've got multiple accounts and you logged into the wrong one now fortunately fortunately some clever individual had figured out what the problem was and so i was able to fix it and get um origins and inquisition back but boy was i pissed boy was i pissed mm -mm. i'm like oh no that's that's where we came from that's where we came from okay And you. But I, I would have been so pissed if I had to repurchase Origins and Inquisition. Those, those are two of my favorite games of all time. Yeah, Okiz decided to stop playing. Hello. Well, uh, let's where are you? Okay, that's the sniper. This might be useful. Ooh, very nice. And you. And you. Oh, I I do love getting extra gubbins. I do love getting extra gubbins. Charge him up. Okay. Just wait. I've got him. And down they go. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Uh, just, just there we go. Carefully. Taking hits. You know what? Move up. Move up. That was a nice trip. Oh, shit a brick. Shit a brick. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Concentrate on the Krogan charge or we're all dead. Who was a genius who gave them arms? Uh, presumably the person who wanted you to train against them. Presumably it was them who gave them arms. Okie doke. We're looking for orange, big chunk of white, blue and orange. A purple, rather. And then orange. You. Lovely. I d I do appreciate all of the money we are getting on this shithole planet. That is, is phenomenal. I'll deal with the traitorous. 
flipping it. Okay, that's that's a heavy. I do, thank you ever so much. Berserkers are going down, but the outsider commandos are still incoming. Repeat, still incoming. Oh, bloody hell. Hi there. I didn't expect you all to just be waiting for me. Hi. Okay, let's do one of them. And do one of them. And how much ammo do we have? We've only got three shots. <clears throat> and let's do one of these. Okay. Okay. You want to pop in and out? I can do that. One of them. Down they go. Down they go. Everyone's looking right. I have... Oh, hello. What? He was just playing dead. He was just playing dead. Like, if I if I lie still enough, they'll never know. I need everyone out of the labs to fight this. Every floor, every outpost. Move! Oh, God, I'm going to... We're literally just taking money from that guy's, you know, pockets. Flipping it. It's just, just what we did there. I'll always think back to I don't like looters. What? That's that's such. I just find that very silly. I find that very very silly. Uh, yeah, if you could pull that guy, that'd be great. Come on over. Ah. Stay down. Stay down. We can wait. We can wait. Okay. Got you. You at the back. You're annoying, aren't you? I've got uh, And then you. Uh, okay, can we, uh... Okay, I don't... We don't have anything there. And um, bring out... Bring out the sh... Okay, I guess we have to bring out the shotgun. Yeah, the rifle. I prefer that one. Anyone else? I'm gonna assume the other one is dead. Okay, okay, just keep moving forwards. We need to get Okia here. Yeah, I, I think Jador may be trying to save her own skin. Oh, hello, wall safe. Again, considering how much of a shithole this place looks, we are getting some, some very nice loot. Okay, nothing hidden there. A yoink! Concentrate fire on my position. Concentrate on. Ah! Ooh, yeah, that that didn't sound good. That did not sound good. 
Okay. Okay. White, orange, blue, and then a big hunk of orange. I do find them, you know, because they're timed and I'm, you know, I, I find them nerve wracking, but I do, I do prefer having to think rather than, you know, just constantly trying to rely on um, brute forcing my way through the mini games. Flipping heck. Okay, here we go. We're in a big area. We're in a big area. Oh, I've lost shields. So I hope I hope that guy is okay wherever he floated off to. Okay, just move up. Move up where we can. Hello. up against Krogan what have been created from vats but you know it's paying off clearly just nothing nothing hidden over here oh god they're fighting they're fighting I've got them Okay. 
Okay, give me some more ammo, please. Excuse you. Go! <laughs> she was just like, no, I'll just stand here. I'll stand here. Everything will be right. Yeah, we have we have enough. Taking fire. Oh, just get down. Get down. of them any any loot i don't suppose any of you left your wallet just conveniently on the ground waiting for me no it doesn't look like it boo boo no no don't don't i'm trying to just run just run there you go it's fine we're safe reload we might as well anything anything hidden over this way no, okay. Alright then, come on. Come on, people. Are you? Okay, in we go. Oh, hello. Help, oh. Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. Oh my god, Rana! Yeah, this was the, um. This was the girl at, uh. Bloody hell, it was Vermeyer. Yeah, this this lady was um, she was working for Saren for a bit. We we let her go. How how do I put this? So um, she was there to you know examine the effects of indoctrination, and um, it it absolutely seemed like she knew what she was doing, but we couldn't verify whether she knew what she would be doing before she took the job. Like, did she? You know, did she get a job offer saying, hey, we want you to experiment on poor, innocent little Solarians and, you know, see, you know, just watch them as they go crazy? Or did she get a job offer saying, hey, come work in this lab. We're examining, you know, something called indoctrination. Don't, don't worry about it. Because, you know, if, if she just thought she was going to work at a regular lab, then it, it seems very harsh to punish her. She definitely knew what she was doing by the end of it, but we couldn't verify whether or not she knew that before she rocked up, so we, we let her go. Uh, hello there, you are right. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Ranathanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer? Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. I mean, you, you got it. You got it, doesn't ring a bell. No, I... If I can remember Rana, then Naomi remembers Rana. Um, yeah, why... Why are you here? Madam, what happened? I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab? Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. Okay. Explain his work. Why does he have a desiccated corpse on a, on a slab? What is Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Hmm. That is... That is interesting. The, um... The, the Krogan we met before kept saying, I'm not perfect, I'm not perfect. The voice in the water told me I wasn't perfect, and then the teaching stopped. Hmm. I mean, here's the thing, what, what would a Krogan define as perfect? 
a human definition of perfect and a Sari definition of perfect and a Krogan definition of perfect are all going to be three vastly different things. Again, we... It's impossible to tell what Rana knew before she arrived on Vermeer. She she seems within her right mind, you know, she, she definitely knew she was doing something shitty when she got there, but it's it's difficult to know if she knew what she was getting into beforehand. If she just took that job on good faith and then got there and was like, oh shit, this is fucked and I can't leave. Like, I, I can't I can't begrudge her that. If she arrived there in good faith, thinking it was like a regular lab, then I, I can't begrudge her that. Um, she's claiming that she's doing this to, you know, help out the Krogan. Yeah, it just... It, here's the thing, the fact that she's been in two dodgy labs, one right after the other, it could just be that she has terrible luck. She's really bad at identifying which are shady job offers and which are legitimate. But here's the thing, some people, they're so intelligent. They're so, like, they could, you know, oh, I'm mapping out neural imprints. What's this? I have a cousin who's a Nigerian prince and he needs access to my bank account? Well, sure, cousin. Like, they're so intelligent, but they're completely lacking in common sense. That could be what's going on with Rana. She hasn't been outright hostile, so I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Yet, yeah, like, please, please, just try harder in the future, madam. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. Should have killed her. Too much knowledge without ethical boundaries. I mean, it... <laughs> that is, that is absolutely a human skeleton. This is... Here we see a Krogan dead body. These things do not match. So whose body is this? What human did they do this to? I... Either way, I'm, I'm gonna take their money. I'm gonna take their money. Is that... Yeah, that is right. You and we want you. Thank you for the money. Thank you ever so much. Hello, aha. Here you are. I've watched your progress. Okay, that's nice. Um you know what? I am I am just about out of time for this episode, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this to a close right here. Let's let's have a read of some codex entries first though. That's all good. Krogan Blood Rage. Feared throughout the galaxy as nightmarishly violent warriors, the Krogan are both aided and hobbled by their legendary blood rage. In the grip of that madness, Krogan become seemingly invincible, but are merely totally unresponsive to pain. Blood-enraged Krogan fight regardless of injury level, to the extent that the Krogan shorn Oh, to the extent that Krogan shorn of all four limbs continue gnashing past brain death until total somatic death. Flippin' heck. The supremely resilient, hyperviolent blood rage is the synergy of two aspects of Krogan neurology. The first aspect is a positive feedback loop in which adrenaline, also activated by fear or rage, suppresses serotonin, the brain chemical that induces serenity. The second is the overdeveloped Krogan limbic system. In Krogan, as in humans, fear or rage shifts mental control from the frontal lobes, responsible for reasoning, to the limbic system, responsible for aggression and survival. During that shift, Krogan and humans exhibit diminished capacity for logic and self-control. Prior to the ecological devastation of Tuchanka, blood rage was extremely rare among the Krogan. 
Back then, while all Krogan were capable of heightened anger and violence in fight-or-flight scenarios, almost none experienced insensitivity to pain. The 1% who did were those suffering serotonin suppression. At that time, Krogan society regarded the condition as pathological and medicated or imprisoned sufferers to protect them and society. Following nuclear ecocide four millennia ago, evolution selected only those Krogan afflicted with blood rage for survival. Today, there is no living memory among the Krogan of a life without mindless, murderous fury. Very interesting. Krogan culture. The harsh Krogan homeworld conditioned the Krogan psychology for toughness, just as it did the body. Krogan have always had a tendency to be selfish, unsympathetic, and blunt. They respect strength and self-reliance, and are neither surprised nor offended by treachery. The weak and selfless do not live long. In their culture, looking out for number one is simply a matter of course. After their defeat in the rebellions, the very concept of Krogan leadership was discredited. Where a warlord could once command enough power to bring entire solar systems to heal and become overlord, these days it is rare for a single leader to have more than 1,000 warriors swear allegiance to him. Most Krogan trust and serve no one but themselves. This solitary attitude stems in part from a deep sense of fatalism and futility, a profound social effect of the genophage which caused Krogan numbers to dwindle to a relative handful. Not only are they angry that the entire galaxy seems out to get them, the Krogan are also generally pessimistic about their race's chances of survival. The surviving Krogan see no point to building for a future, there will be no future. The Krogan live with an attitude of kill, pillage and be selfish, for tomorrow we die. And the Genophage. The Genophage bioweapon was created to end the Krogan rebellions. From the start, the Krogan had overwhelmed the Council. Only timely first contact with the Torians saved the Council races. The Torians fought the Krogan to a standstill, but sheer weight of Krogan numbers indicated the war could not be won through conventional means. The Torians collaborated with the Salarians to, ne to genetically engineer a counter to the rapid breeding of the Krogan. The Genophage virus gained the energy to replicate by eating key genetic sequences. Every cell in every Krogan had to be altered for the weapon to be foolproof, otherwise the Krogan could have used gene therapy to fix the affected tissue. Once a genophage strain could find no more genes to eat, it would starve and die, limiting spin-off mutation and contamination. This created genetic flaw is hereditary. Excuse me, there we go. The Salarians believed the genophage would be used as a deterrent, a position the Turians viewed as naive. Once the project was complete, the Torians mass-produced and deployed it. The Krogan homeworld, their colonies, and all occupied worlds were infected. The resulting mutation made only one in a thousand Krogan pregnancies carry to term. It did not reduce fertility, but offspring viability. The rare females able to carry children to term became prizes the Krogan warlords fought brutal battles over. The Krogan are a shadow of their former glory. While the rebellions took place centuries ago, they are constantly reminded of the horror of the genophage and of their inability to counter it. The release of the genophage is still controversial, bitterly debated in many circles. Very interesting. And I'm intrigued to hear another Krogan's opinion. We, we heard what Rex had to say, but what does this Okia think about all of this? We shall find out in the next episode. So until then... Please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.